I'm just going to pick up where we left, left off. We're going to start modeling uh, the bottom portion of this stick blender. Um, the first thing we're going to do is start using curves to model. So um, I'm going to rename this first layer curves. And I'll start a sub layer called bottom. Actually, I'll call it revolve. Okay. Um, that's because that's what we're going to do with these curves. Okay, so uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is just go into... I'm gonna, just going to use the front elevation, so I'll turn off the side and bottom for now. Um, because the bottom portion of this is symmetrical, we're going to go ahead and do this symmetrically. Um, so we're just going to start off here. Uh, and establish a bottom or baseline for our revolve. Um, I'm going to start with just a straight polyline at zero. Um, I'm just going to hold shift to make sure that's straight. Um, now we know the diameter of the base is 72, so to get half of that, which is nice and easy, um, if you can't do maths, you just type in 72 and then forward slash 2 or divided by 2 and it's going to come up with the correct dimension there so that's 36 um, I'll put my next curve straight up because that's what it looks like this profile is doing and I'm just going to draw that over the size I need and I'll hit enter so I've got my start of my curves here um, uh, if you notice through here um, there's sort of a subtle curve coming out um, and also here so uh, we're going to use our CV curves to execute that um, so what I'm going to do is I might change this layer color to something a bit brighter maybe bright green what we're going to do is grab the next commonly used curve the control point curve um, we're going to start the curve again over the edge of this larger than we need I'm going to put one point here and go inside my stick blender. Um, we're going to trim all these back towards the end. Um, uh, if we want to turn on the points so we can edit these as we go, we hit F10. Uh, on Mac, you need to hit Fn, F10 to get those controls. Okay, might rotate a little bit just using the gumball. This line angles a little bit off. Okay. And that's conforming to that curve pretty nicely. Um, now we do have a measurement for the diameter of that shaft uh, in our brief. So we'll, uh, have a look at that. It's 25 millimeters and it flares up to 28. So we do have a taper there. So I'm going to go ahead and establish a center line for my model. Uh, I'll hit zero to start that. And I'll just hit a straight line straight up by holding shift. Okay. And that is my center line now. And that's what I'm going to use as a reference. Oops, back to front. Okay, so we start at 25 around here. If we look at the brief around that little bottom part, it's 25. So I'll just say that's around halfway through this fillet. Uh, 25 divided by 2. Again, 25 divided by 2 up in our command line. And we can click. Okay. We now have an intersection just here. And that's where this straight line is going to start and I'll pop another reference line in here at 28 divided by 2 okay holding shift to make sure it's straight and there you go so I'm going to go ahead and start my oh yeah I'll start my curve just here at the intersection so I've got an int relationship just there. I'll put one point in to give it a little bit of curve and then I'll go to my end here. Okay. Um, at this point we can start trimming this up. So I'm just going to select all my curves and hit trim, TRM. And we can go ahead and just trim this off so we can see what we're dealing with. Okay. Now we know the basic body of this is symmetrical up until about uh, this point here 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is build it symmetrically up until about here, then trim it down. So we can go back into our front view here and turn off that side canvas. Um, and go ahead and put in this curve just here. Now, what we may need to do is bring this CV up. I don't want to add another CV in, so I'm just going to move this across until it looks about right. It's pretty close to being 28. Okay, I'm going to add my next curve in here. So again, I want that to have a slight curvature. F10 to come around just there. It's always good to build concave, uh, convex surfaces. Light will reflect a lot more nicely off these, uh, especially when you come to render and in real life. Okay, I'll put my pretty much my final curve in here. Again, you can see I'm never using more than uh, three points on these simple curves. They just don't need them, and the fewer points you use. Uh, the better results you'll generally get. Okay, I'm just moving these points out until they are marrying up nicely. Now I might have some more reference measurements through here. 57, I've got a point here, 57. So we can go in here again just with a straight line. That was about about there, I think. Yeah, just a bit under here. Uh, again, I'm just going to type in 57 divided by 2. Okay, I'm going to move this one out a little bit. Um, these are good to refer to because our canvas image may be a little bit off or a little bit off center. Um, so this will give us the correct volume. Okay, that looks quite good. Um, again, I'll go ahead and just select all of these and hit trim. And I can trim these corners up. Okay. And pretty much our curves here are complete. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just hit join on all of these. So now I've got one nice profile uh, that I can revolve. Um, now in terms of adding the fillets, we can always add them in now. Um, while we're drawing the curves or we can add them in later so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it both ways um, so in my curves layer uh, under revolve I'm gonna just start a new sub layer called revolve fillets okay now um, I'm gonna click this object I'm gonna right click on revolve fillets and copy object to layer that means I've got the same thing on both of these layers now. Okay, and now I'm just going to be working on the revolve fillets uh, layer. Um, so to get these curves in, I find the best option is to use an adjustable blend curve. Okay, so what I want to do is start somewhere up here. Uh, do we have both curves visible? There we go. All right, curve. Adjustable blend curve. Oh, is this on the wrong layer? Sorry. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna change that to revolve. Okay. Now it's all good. Curve blend curves adjustable blend curve. Okay, what we'll do is click there and click here. isn't wanting to work for us. I'm just going to explode this out. It might work better. Curve, blend curves, adjustable blend curve. Okay, there we go. Just want to explode that. Okay, so what you can see here is a curve that's coming in uh, that's going to work as our fillet. Um, this is a good way to work because it allows us to adjust it. So what we can do is pull on these points um, 
till they look like what we want. We can also adjust these CVs to get the right amount of curvature just here. Okay, then we're going to just hit enter and that's going to bring that in. So we'll try that once more. Um, again, I just make sure I didn't join these curves, I, un I exploded them out. Curve, blend curve, adjustable blend curve. So you can just click here, somewhere down here. Okay, now oh, that looks quite good. Accept that. Do the same here. Start clicking where I think the fillet starts and where I think it ends. And I'll say that's okay. I'll do the same thing through here. Again, our canvas image is a little bit off, so that's okay. Uh, you can see now that we've really created a nice profile that's flowing really well. Um, we can go ahead at this point and join this all up. Making sure we select everything with a shift click. I'll hit join. Oh, I forgot this little piece at the bottom. We'll join that up as well. Okay, um, I'm going to use the revolve tool now. So revolve, REV, L revolve. Uh, we've got our central axis established just here. So just on zero, press enter. And we just want to draw a straight line, a vertical line. Um, and when it asks us now to complete the revolve, we just hit full circle. And we can take a look at what we've done. And here we go. We've created that shape quite nicely. See, so we don't really have any seams because those blend curves look quite good. Okay, so I'm going to start a new layer here called surfaces. Surfaces. Um, I'll start a new sub layer called base. And we will change that object layer and turn it off. Okay. Now, the other way we can do this is adding the fillets later. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off this revolve fillet and turn on that original one. Um, without the fillets. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit revolve on that as it is. And full circle again. Okay. You can see now we've got a uh, shape that doesn't have any of the fillets on it. Um, so instead of using a blend curve we can go, instead of going to the curve menu, go to the solid menu and we go blend edge. Okay, we can just click this edge. Uh, we can hit enter and then we can drag this handle to adjust the size to something that we want. Okay. Yeah, that's just because I have history on. And you can see how we can just press enter, drag the handle and start building that out. So I'm going to hit Solid, Fillet Edge, Blend Edge, click the edge I want to blend, hit enter, and then click and drag out that handle to get the size I want. Okay. Now, so pretty much the same result. Um, the only reason I would preference doing it in the curves, as you could see, we could control the CVs just a little bit better when we did that. Um, so I'm just going to start a new sub layer here called base two. Actually, no, I'm just going to delete that um, and just use my base layer. And I'll delete this layer. Right click and delete. Okay, so we are nearly done with the base of the stick blender the base surfaces. Um, obviously we have some thickness through here uh, that we need to take into account. So I'm going to go ahead and with these original curves I had, so the filleted curves, um, I'm going to hide this surface. Okay, I'm going to grab these curves and what I'm going to do is I'm going to explode them. I'm going to select these curves just here. I'm going to hit curve, oops, not that curve, not the bottom curve, just these three curves, one, two, and three. I'm going to hit curve, offset, offset curve, um, 
Oops, okay, select curves to offset. Oh, I think I should join them first. Okay, curve, offset curve. Okay. Um, by the looks of things, that looks to be around, I don't know, two millimeters. That looks pretty good. I'll click when we're happy. You can see now we have the inside profile. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that profile off with a straight line. I'm going to uh, just hit F10 here and grab this little point and pull it straight down so we have a nice overlap. Okay. I'm going to bring this back to the center here with my grid snap turned on. Sorry, just draw a straight line here just to our center line. And I'll draw a straight line straight up to there. Okay, so now I have a shape here that I'm going to revolve and then boolean away from my uh, surface that I created just before, so I get that cut out. Um, last thing I'll do is just put a little fillet in there. So I'm just going to go curve, blend curves, adjustable blend curve. Okay, that looks okay. Um, so now I'll have an area inside my stick blender where I can build my blades. I'll hit join here. I'm going to hit revolve. Again, I'll just start from zero, drawing a straight line by holding shift and then hitting full circle. Um, if we put our surfaces back on, you can see what we've created is a surface sticking out of the bottom. Uh, now the reason I did that was just to make sure that the boolean will work. Um, now you'll notice that this surface is open up here, so we just uh, we'll give it a go and then see if we need to close that off if the boolean doesn't work. So we're just going to use the boolean difference. Select this and select that. Okay, that didn't work. So we'll make sure we cap this then. This boolean tends to work better on solid, so let's use the cap command. Okay. So again, we'll try Boolean difference. We'll start with, oops, it did work. Except it didn't work in the way we wanted. We joined them up. So I'll cap that first to close that top. And then I'll try Boolean difference here. Start here and subtract that. That error is just coming up because I have history turned on. Um, could be handy. So if I turn my elevations off, you can see that we have subtracted that area away just in here. And if I turn my ISO curves off, um, I'll go ahead and change the layer of these curves and turn it off. So I will just turn those off. Don't have to look at those anymore. And we can have a look over the model we've created so far. Um, you can see that we've got a nice socket here to put our blade in. And we've got a nice body. Uh, we can check that by hitting Zebra. Okay. And that'll let us know if that looks pretty good. Ah, oh, it looks all right. Um, everything seems to be flowing okay. No real major problems with that. Um, and you can double check. If you look at it in the rendered view as well, if anything really stands out as being lumpy or sharp edged or anything, you'll be able to see that in this view. Um, maybe the last thing I'll do is just put a little fillet on this edge down here. Um, so I'll go ahead and go solid, fillet edge. Now remember we put it, that's two millimeters, so I'm going to just do a fillet of 0.5 because um, 0.5 there plus 0.5 here will equal one millimeter, so you got a little bit of a fillet, flat spot, then fill it again. Okay, and that should pick up a highlight when we go to render this out later. Okay, great guys, uh, that's it for the first part of this. Um, uh, we'll continue on in the next video. Thanks.